What's up everyone, I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in our base, Nixoria. Yeah. And today we're going to automate machine frames. How about that? So since last episode I I stopped doing the Fluix B's automation. I have 11 k that should be enough, so we're doing redstone bees again. And I set up this thing in Xnet where I oh wait. There we go. So I'm exporting the energetic comps, but I need to have a whitelist here as well because otherwise it would pull the the A stuff like the Aerophium because it shares uh, ID with the pulverized iron and all of those things. So I have to have another whitelist here. And you know, it's going at it. It's out, out putting on this channel as well. So it's gonna put out the items and put them back into the system. I gave this guy speed upgrades and stack, stack upgrades so we can keep up and I drew over, oh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Wait, we an upgrade over here. Mm, yeah, I need two upgrades. Get a lot of these. There we go. So redstone up here. Then I have these in this wall, so shouldn't take up a lot of shouldn't take up a lot of extra storage really. But yeah, today we're going to automate the crafting of machine frames, and I've prepared all of the things we need, I think, so shouldn't have to craft anything, which is always nice. And if we get some time over I might set up fluid storage buses because I want to look into auto crafting signalum and uh, the resonant ender. Yeah, you need more redstone. You're totally not doing anything right now. In any case, we're gonna start here. I have a... I have a Solignolia down there, just so... Whenever I... Because we need to drop items in here. I plan to fully automate this, and then you need to drop, you know, the... Biome of, biome of Plenty gems, like the Topaz and stuff, to start the process. So I have a Solignolia uh, down there, just to... Be sure it's not gonna pull. And to start off we need scanners from RF tools to you know scan the structure we want. So if we do that and then let's see. So we need shape cards to start off. And I have four of those. We're gonna need four different shapes in total because we have four machine frames. Like let's see. We have we have the iron casing from actual additions, we have the machine frame from Earth tools, then we have machine frame from expansion and Tesla Core Lib machine case. So that's four in total. Mm, and we're gonna make sure ray three by three by three. And then we put you down here. Now this links the card to this scanner. So sadly we need actually found out this pretty late in my testing world, but we need four scanners. Or if we, if I did this shape and then came back and put another card in, it would just overwrite the previous uh, card if I did another scan. So we need to do the scan on four separate cards and four separate scanners, which is a bit of a headache, but we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna put that here and then we get, go up to just to make sure this is working. There's, it's not like the builder, it can't really show where it's looking, I think. Let me just get rid of this. Yeah, you can't see it. So, but this is correct. So now we just need to, before, before we press the scan button, we need to insert our first thing, and that's gonna be our tools machine. Machine casing from RF tools. So that's let's see. It's item pipe, gray stained glass pane, glass and yeah that. I'm gonna need some of this. Some of this the item pipe from embers, and then some mana infused. I should have some blocks left. I'm running low on this because I did four builders and four scanners. That's a lot of metal. So we just set up the shape like we normally do. 
and then so. Perfect. Then we need the paints. Perfect. And this. So we want to scan you. Yes, I'll just do this. Ah, uh, there we go. We scan you, and your shape scan. You can't really see the blocks e either. I mean, if you add like many different blocks, this. I mean, it might be a good thing, but I would like to see what's actually in the scan. But we can set up a builder here now. Let me grab all of the ender chests. Wait, I already did that. Great. So one ender chest will go here. I just need a builder. So builders will go on this level. Then we have ender chests above. And I have power beneath here. So we're going to make sure we can get that over. One, two, three. And under you. So we're going to start charging. Then I want to do the same on each side here while we're at it. So there we go. And then it's the builder. Let's grab another builder. Let's grab all of them. Good. And this side is kind of done. We just need to set the builder here. So each builder is going to get power from the power cell. And then we're going to make sure they loop. Uh, like by the tree farm, so they always try and place never their space and they have the stuff to build in the ender chest. So the ender chest, why we need that is because I'm gonna have an open crate up there that also accepts. So we're gonna have crafters attached to the ender chest that's gonna put all of the required items in and uh, it's gonna also have the like the malachite and there's gonna be an ender chest up there that can pull the malachites and stuff so builder that give you some power now you're done right yeah then i'm gonna actually remove you i think let's see actually want my yeah, magnet doesn't even work here. For now, I'm just gonna like place them somewhere where I can keep track. So you were, you were the RF tools frame. <laughs> I'm just gonna call all of them frame because I don't know their actual names. And I'm gonna do the same here just so I don't forget what shape card it is. So RF tools frame. Perfect. Then I need levers for these. And I guess we're gonna need a few more. I'm just gonna place them back here. On the back sides. Now that's scanned and everything, so I could could just do this and wait, where are you? Okay, so I messed up the scan a few times, but Make sure it's 27 blocks, I guess, because it was 26 and, you know, things weren't great. Can put you in here, do you too. And yeah, you should be fine there. Let's get rid of this guy. This is like my third failed attempt here. Let's just give him that. Then we should be able to see you four in that direction. And there we go. That's the proper place for you. So I don't watch a lot of other content creators since I started doing YouTube myself, but I, like a few weeks ago, I stumbled upon some shows and architect clip with him doing uh, this kind of automation that apparently Direwolf did. And I'm gonna do something similar like that, but a bit more automated. So you're done. You can place your thing there. And we're gonna set up the recipe. 
And yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep this in my inventory from now on. But if you hold shift, you will see the scan ID. So I won't scan the rest right now. I need, I need some cabling so I can hook you up with a crafter. So all of the cabling will go here and we need crafters. So for example, this guy will have his crafter in, in the, you know, behind. Where's my crescent hammer? There we go. So point you in that direction. And oh boy. I should cover this up maybe. Can you take the outer path here? Yeah, okay. That will be fine for now. So I'll hook you up with this guy. Then we need to... We need to tell him to do the recipe. And we also need a vacuum... Item vacuum. That can pull the recipe when it's done. So we're going to have a... We could have you here, I guess. And then do that. Hopefully it won't interfere. Mm, would like it one back. So if we could do that cable back here, maybe. One, 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 one. Okay, so the crafter, like last time, will go here. Excellent. Then we will have the interface here. That guy and then a lever for you. So you're gonna start sucking things into the system here. Cool. So we can set up the crafting recipe for that pretty easily. We just need to put it in processing. Press you here and do that. And everything will just work fine. We're gonna put that into the ender chest. Let's, uh, we also need to set you on keep running. And let's try giving it that recipe. Machine frame one. Oh wait. You're missing money infused metal now because I botched it a few times. I need some blocks here. Give me a second. Okay, put that in the system. Machine frame one. And it looks to form correctly. You get these like weird disconnects, but it works. So the next thing, um, and I think I'm gonna bump the roof one if I can in most places. I can jump on you, right? I'm just gonna build myself up here a bit. I just need some space for my open crate automation up here. Perfect. And yeah, I killed the beams right now because it's in, it's in the way. We're gonna have an uh, open crate somewhere here. It's gonna be here. Cool. Then we're going to have an ender chest here. We can pull from. And now I can place these as well. Just so they are in the proper place. Good. Now, I would like this to be as fast as possible, so we have an impulse item duct and a resonant retriever. We're gonna set it on a whitelist high signal. So it only does things when you get a redstone signal, then we want to put the biome of plenty gems as a whitelist. So anything we use for these crafts. I don't think sapphires uh, go on that list, but I'm, I'm missing something. Yeah, the malachite. Put all of that and I'm gonna light the roof up here a bit. It's a bit dark, gloomy. And we're gonna say you can max send one per pulse. And then we're gonna set up sequencers and stuff from our tools. Okay, amber, topaz, ruby, malachite, max one. And uh, we need a high redstone signal. So, so far so good. Then we're gonna set up one, two, three prop blocks here. Now, let's just show this once. Or yeah, I kind of want... How many man infused blocks do I have? I have one. Except for the one in here. So I could do this. Let's uh, put the malachite up here. 
So when we look here, it has a progress bar and let's grab a comparator and redstone. It's actually pretty neat. So rotate you. See, as it progresses and closes in on a final craft, it will grow the redstone signal. But it starts on one. I think it maybe sucked it into the item uh, system. Uh, where is it? RF tools. Yeah, it got pulled into the system. So the crafting manager here, monitor, should be happy. So we're gonna have a comparator, then I'm gonna need redstone receiver and transmitter. So you're gonna transmit the signal and if I hold the receiver and right click this guy we, we get a channel for it. And I need a staircase here. Something like this. That's gonna work. I'm cramped for space up here. But the receiver is gonna go here. And we don't need it in analog analog mod mode. Because the timer has a feature that's pretty neat. So we can pause it while redstone is active. So right now there is no crafting going on, so the timer is going free free spin and basically just running all the time. Oh man, so much ugh. So much. So much ash. Anyways, when this starts crafting and get gets a redstone signal of one, this guy will immediately disable the timer. Come on, give me some space. It's a manhole up here. But yeah, it's gonna pause when the craft starts. But the timer pulse is not long enough to enable any of the thermal piping, so we also need a sequencer. And let's see, you're empty, yeah? That's good. That's what we want. Then we're gonna have this guy on once too, which is the mode we want. When a redstone signal is received, loop the cycle once. It's gonna do a loop, and if this guy ever gets off another pulse in that duration, it's gonna ignore it, which is good. This uh, sequencer takes 64 tick to complete one cycle. So when it's done with the next cycle, it will have dropped the thing and craft will be in progress, so the timer will be stopped again. So we're only gonna drop once once here. Uh, <laughs> drop one item per per sequencer cycle. And we will only get one cycle in between crafts. I hope that makes sense to you. Because it didn't to me. <laughs> okay, so... If we said... I just want to make sure everything is correct here. I said make one machine frame now, I think. And I had a comment that explained that we can actually craft even though there's items in the sift system. I think I pressed middle click and it didn't work, but control shift middle click will let you do that. So uh, I guess I need to give you that again. I can press start. And there we go. And now this should be paused again. You see the time up in the left corner isn't moving. So since the comparator Comparator is sending a low signal while crafting, this guy will be disabled. It's so anything that isn't zero will uh, pause this in terms of redstone signal. And now it's gonna do its thing again and pulse this every, every now and then. Every 64 ticks, I guess, since it can't really restart the loop. Now that's nice, so we could order up several things, but I need to set up something like... Because I'm out of mana infused blocks, so I can't show multiple recipes of that. Are we for tin blocks? Mm, we could have a few tin blocks. And I'm gonna set up uh, factorized recipes for blocks and stuff at some point. There we go. Block of tin. Put that in. Ah. Rhymes. Now, I want to have this in between at some point, point and nicen up the floor. Now I need a scanner and I need to retrieve that guy. 
No, it took my glass. Horrendous. Okay, so scanner. This guy is scan ID 1, so I can put him in the system. We don't need him anymore. Let's... Okay, scan ID 2. We need a new shape card. That we need to set to a... 3 by 3 by 3. So 27 blocks. Put you in here. Scan ID 2. And this guy needs to be up to as well. So if I did scan now, it would show zero blocks, right? Yeah, zero blocks in that area. Now we're gonna set up the thermal. Where is that? Thermal. We're gonna set up the thermal machine frame, which is iron pipe, glass, and tin blocks. So iron pipe. Gonna set up set up auto crafting for that. Uh, iron pipe, which is just a bunch of plates and stuff. Can order that. Running out of patterns again. <laughs> what a nuisance. So you'll go here. And let's order up some of that, I guess. And it should make some plates if we're out. Oh. I think my room is too big now because I dug out the roof here. So I might actually compartmentalize this thing down here because we don't need. There's no uh, restriction uh, things down here. So I might just put a door here later. The machine still works, you just can't access the interface. So we have glass. Or I guess we're gonna do that glass. And we need the pipe. And then tin, tin block. So I have seven. I would like a few more for the... So I can show off the crafting later. There we go, 14 tin blocks. So let's set this up. This is a bit easier as a recipe. We just need all sides glass. So something like that. And we can just wrap it all the way around. There we go. Now let's make sure it's actually 27 blocks here. Scan. Uh, zero. Okay. Wait. I did offset up to, so it should scan that properly. Wait, why are you scan ID now? Zero now. Two. Scan. No. 27, there we go. It was unlinked for some reason. So scan ID 2, 27 blocks. You will go back here. And let's toss a thing on you. What do you want? You want a topaz. So the same here, we want it to go 2 up, then I think it's minus 4 in this direction. Yeah, it is. And you can see the comparator is doing its thing. Okay, so now put all of this away in the system. Uh, and it should work. Gonna put a sign here. Thermal machine frame. So back here. There's some leftover support blocks. Uh, we're going to... We can remove this now, I think. We're going to hook up a crafter. And we could have that over here, I guess. It's no big deal. Or I kinda did this whole outline thing here. So I might just do it in the back. He stole it, I think. Crafter. Rotate you. Good. Now we need to set up that pattern too. There we go. And that was our last pattern. So if I place you here, that should pretty much work straight off. So let's say we want five. Can do five. Not right off the bat. Let's just do three. It should be able to craft in that time in any case. 
Huh. <laughs> okay, so the reason it, it didn't work, I think, is... Ignored. Keep running. There we go. So now, let's just double check this. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna order those up again. Thermal. Down here. Do two. No, let's do three. And this guy pulled the topazes, but I think he pulls them over the field in a normal case, so it's not a it's not that bad. So whenever this guy is done, we should see this uh, let's see the sequencer start stepping here. So s about now. Yeah, it starts step. Ah, it works kind of good. Where's my food? Though, here it is. And next one. Ha! Ah, it works w really well. Now, some issues with it. I think it would go kind of weird if we did... If we did it with uh, two d different kinds of machine frames at a time. Since uh, the ender chest would have two types of the biomes of plenty gems at the same time. But uh, it's pretty darn good. So what I'll do now is I will set up the remaining two recipes and try to clean this up a bit. And see if I have some time over. Okay, so it's certainly not the prettiest room in the base, but I tried. And all of these are set up now. This guy is scan ID 4. This guy is scan ID 3. He does the iron casing and he does the tesla core thing. So how many tesla core thingies can we... Wait. Tesla. There we go. Can we do... We should be able to make five. Let's go for that. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And next one. Oh yeah. Everything is working according to plan. This door didn't really work. I'm getting rid of it. It's gone. It's gone. So, I just put a door in here instead. So, yeah, the animals are separated from us now. But I'm pretty happy with this automation. <laughs> it's it's kind of cool, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. It's really nice having that. There's two more to go. Not making them by hand is gonna be the greatest thing ever, but I still lack some medals here to do a lot of them. Like the... We don't have a lot of money fused left, and I only have five machine frames. I'm kinda happy that I could make the... Let's see. I'm kinda happy I could make the machine bases without worrying about having to do the casing. This is just stone and nuggets, so it was pretty cheap to do the redstone automation. Oh yeah. It's gonna take a while before I tire of that. So to recap, all of the crafters put stuff into the ender chest that's linked to the builders and also this open crate. So it's gonna get items in there and if the builder has matching items to the block above, it's gonna build the thing. And, you know, this will continue to try to drop items if uh, the field projectors aren't running. And when it does, the like, process will start. And whenever it's done, it's gonna come into this vacuum and it's gonna come back to the system. So, yeah, it's... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's a perfect system because I think it might be a bit wonky if I order up two machine frames at a time, but... I'm pretty darn pleased with it. How awesome is this? Anyways, time... Time did run away from me, so we're wrapping up here. We got this thing done. <laughs> it's, it's all I can say about this episode. We can now get our machine frames whenever we like, if we have the materials. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you really enjoyed it, I hope you will hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time here in Exoria. Take care. Bye bye.